On his 17th birthday, a bullet to the back killed John Frazier. Today, his killer is sentenced. Good evening, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. I'm Ann Nyberg. Anthony Collymore was found guilty on five counts, including felony murder. News 8 Stephanie Simone was there when the sentence was given out in court. She joins us now live. Stephanie? And Keith, the victim's family sobbed as they called Collymore a monster and an animal. Well, Collymore, when he spoke to the judge, he said he was not a murderer. The judge gave him 82 years. 17-year-old John Frazier died in his mother's arms on his birthday. Three years later, she can't hold him, but holds his picture outside of court. A piece of your heart is always, will always be gone. In January 2010, these three men tried to rob Frazier. When he ran, he was shot in the back, steps from his door. The getaway driver, Rayshawn Bug, got 25 years. Vince Wilson, 50 years. Today, after tearful witness statements, Anthony Collymore got 82 years. I wanted more, but it doesn't matter because the years, none of that brings my son back. He's always going to be gone, but at least we know that he can never take another innocent child away from their mother. Collymore's family says he should have gotten 50 years. I believe he did deserve punishment because he was involved with this. But due to his background, I thought he should have been extended some grace. Bailey says Collymore's mother and grandmother were crack addicts. His father is in prison for murder. She worries his three sons will continue the cycle. I just don't want them to end up in the same situation that Anthony is in. As for Robinson, she finds comfort knowing her son is still in the minds of many. I know he will never be forgotten because he was a good kid. and Good kids never get forgotten. Collymore has a record dating back to 2004. He's currently serving time for a robbery behind bars. At this point, he has a mandatory sentence of 47 years in prison for this crime. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Simone, News 8.